Hi everybody, it's Colin McEwen for the New Fly Fisher. And in this video, what I'm gonna talk about is fly fishing travel. We all like to go on trips. I know I love doing them, whether you're going to Patagonia, Northern Ontario, Labrador, Idaho, wherever you're traveling, there's some little tips I've picked up over the years, listening to other people, as well as figuring out some things myself that have helped me a lot in my travels. And I wanna show you some of the items that have helped me make my trips a lot smoother. The first item I want to show you is seems like an obvious one, but it's got a lot of uses. And that is these luggage tags that uh, Scotch actually makes. And uh, they're thermal laminating pockets. They look like this. And basically what you do is you take your business card or just take a card, even right on the back of your card. But you take these, you don't need a laminating machine. What I do is you just put your card in, close them, and I use an iron with a bit of cloth over top of it and just iron them and they seal. I like to have lots of luggage tags on my bags. I put one at the front, one in the back. Um, I put them on my rod tubes, etc. And the other thing is you can use these for labeling if you've got real bags, things like that. They're great, but they're very inexpensive. You get a big box of them like this. I think this was like 14 or 15 dollars and you can make sure you have good luggage uh, tags for when you travel. The next thing is a, a great bit of technology that's come out from our friends at Apple are air tags. Uh, I got told about these by some friends. I'm sitting there in the lounge and they go, oh, look, my bag's just been put on my plane. You turn on one of these, connect it to your iPhone, and you'll know if you're going down to Patagonia, but suddenly you see your bag going to Beijing, China, you've got a problem. So they're a great way to follow your bag or bags. Um, I strongly recommend them. I've been using them for about a year now. You just stick them inside your bag and it'll instantly tell you where your bag is. And the other side of it is I know people use these for their wallets. They use them for their backpacks. If you uh, want to see some of the videos on YouTube about air tags, I recommend you have a look at them. The one from Apple as well as from others. They're fantastic. Absolutely fantastic and worth the money. Next item I want to talk about are cubes. I don't know if you've heard of these. They're really popular. My daughter actually got me into uh, these. And what I use them for is my backpack. I use them uh, when I, whether it's my backpack I'm taking on the plane with my laptop, my book, my headphones, all that. But we all seem to have a need for a lot of different cables, plugins. I know I've got to have, I'm going to, to Patagonia and in Chile, I'm going to have different plugins, European plugins. You can put them in these bags and they're fantastic. They're, they're, they're you can see through them, they're mesh. And you can put these in your luggage, put them in your backpack. They're just really handy for organizing all the little bits and pieces instead of having them loose or in a plastic bag. You can organize your stuff real easily and get at it. Fantastic. Next thing is a little more fly fishing oriented. And that is that, you know, I used to take uh, a whole bunch of fly boxes for all the different things I did. And then I discovered that the Mio fly boxes, there's different sizes. And I'm used to using the very large ones in my big boat bag. They also make a smaller version and they're fantastic because as you can see I've got them labeled and everything but this one as an example has got all my olive and chartreuse streamers and it's just the right size it's uh, just under a foot and what I like about this it goes in my sling bag I can put it in my top of my waders I'll put like I need top water flies and some streamers I'll just stick them in there I don't want to carry a huge backpack full of fishing gear. This is one of the things you can do to minimize your weight. And a lot of times we, we're all guilty of this when we travel, we take way too much stuff. This will help you minimize how much stuff you take and get your weight down, as well as they're really easy to pack inside of your luggage. You put them in your clothing, all types of, in your wading boots. They're really fantastic. And uh, it's Mio that makes these. Uh, here's uh, the actual model that I'm using. We've got slit foam. I also, by the way, you see I've got silica bags. These are the ones you get when you buy things. I put them in here. Uh, they do help 
and if you get a little moisture in there or you've got them in the sun for a second they'll absorb the moisture and i want to thank one of our viewers for telling me that because i didn't know that and uh what a great thing to do with these boxes the other fly box i want to show you is um also from mio and this box here's one with the label on it it's a slip uh, form case f7 and what's great about them is that you can do you know sometimes you want to bring something that's you don't necessarily know you're going to need but you want to bring it but it might be a big box you've got these little fly boxes again they fit in your waders fit in your backpack your sling back like in this case um i'm going to patagonia i'm going to bring some balanced leeches i'm hoping everything i do is top water uh, maybe some streamer fishing but just in case I might want to put one of these a foot 18 inches below my big hopper if the trout aren't willing to come to the surface well here i am i got my indicators i've got my balance leeches i got a nice selection nice and small perfect um, and you see they're very small very handy with slip foam on the one side and a compartment on the other and this one is another uh, box of streamers and what I've done is I've put various sizes of uh, cones uh, here because what I do, instead of going through the pain of bringing weighted and unweighted flies, what I usually do, uh, especially when I'm not sure how the fishing is going to be, I'll bring unweighted flies like these streamers here, and they're all different sizes in here, but I'll bring the weights. And then what I can do, and I tie on my streamer like here, I just put on... The cone head and slip it up against and I suddenly have a weighted fly. Of course you can use uh, different types of fly lines like sink tips etc but this gives you a little more versatility when you're going out in the field and again this is why I like these little fly boxes with a slit and then a compartment to put other things. So again more travel ideas to help you when you go on your next trip. Not bring too much stuff, don't lose your luggage, have tagging, all those good things. Make sure that you have a great trip and you arrive with all your stuff.